이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 난민과 이슬람 문제를 분리해서 생각할 수는 없을까요? 난민들을 포용하고 싶어하는 대다수의 사람들은 난민 문제와 이슬람 문제를 떼어서 생각하고 싶어합니다. 그러나 한때 무슬림이었다가 기독교로 개종한 사람들은 결코 그렇게 생각할 수 없다고 말합니다. 자선을 베풀 것인가 안전을 추구할 것인가 이 선택이 남았다고 말합니다. 미국에서 전해온 소식입니다. As Europe's winter closes in on Syrian refugees, many find themselves out in the cold. The weather is cold. Please help. As America prepares to accept some of them, many are asking which of them are true refugees. What is America's role, if any, in helping them? And how many of them are ISIS? So I take ISIS at its word when it says we want to uh, exploit the refugee program to infiltrate the West. President Obama says Syrian refugees are less dangerous than tourists, and he wants to bring in at least 10,000 in 2016. But warning signs abound. The Germans say almost one out of three migrants are lying about being Syrian. Czech president has warned that Europe is facing an organized invasion and not the spontaneous movement of refugees. One young refugee told this Swiss newspaper he met many radical Muslims on his way to Europe. And FBI Director James Comey has warned Congress that Syrian refugees cannot be properly vetted. It's not just those who come in here who specifically intend to be part of plots to kill Americans. It's also those who may be most easily recruitable in the years to come. Clifford May, president of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, says it would only take a few terrorists to get through. There were only a handful of people involved in the 9-11 attacks. Just a handful. Is that okay? Are we willing to have a 9-11 attack every one year, every three years, every five years? Presidential candidate Donald Trump has called for a temporary ban on all Muslim immigration. But when you actually crunch the numbers, those who have gone through the actual refugee vetting process have so far committed no acts of terrorism on American soil. There have been no refugees admitted since 9-11 who have committed a terrorist attack in the United States. Immigration policy analyst Alex Nelrasta says Syrian refugees in America would not come through Europe, but from camps in the Middle East. And very few would-be terrorists could make it through the refugee process. The first level of checks to the refugee system is done by the UN, where they reject 99% of applicants. There, there are an additional 21 different steps undertaken by the U.S. government that a refugee must go through in order to come to the United States. Uh, for a Syrian, that takes about three years to go through uh, to come here. So it's a very safe system. It is the hardest way to come to the United States. There are easier ways for a terrorist to enter the U.S., like green card fraud or a student visa or simply walking across the border. But what this debate seems to really be about is the religion of the refugees, Islam, and if Islam makes them a potential danger. President Obama, who continues to have trouble saying the words Muslim terrorism, seems to view Islam as the same as other religions. But many former Muslims disagree. Is it? Is it the same as other religions? No, it's not. Islam is different than other religions because Islam does not accept any law besides Allah's law. We asked Brother Rashid, a former Muslim who now hosts a popular Arabic TV program called Daring Questions, if some Muslim migrants are coming to the West not as guests, but as conquerors. Of course. I have family members in Europe and they think the same thing. I visited them and they think that Europe, they hate Europe, they hate the West, they hate their, their way of life, so they are there to change them. Brother Rashid says he does not believe, as some do, that every Muslim is a potential terrorist because he says many Muslims are not serious about their faith. But he warns that all a Muslim needs to do, like the San Bernardino bomber, is suddenly decide to follow the Quran completely. He says that is precisely what ISIS has tried to do. These guys are devout Muslims. They are not just a bunch of terrorists who did not understand Islam. All these guys understood Islam, studied it. Al-Baghdadi, the head of ISIS, is a PhD holder in Islamic studies, so he, he must understand Islam to get a PhD. There are more concerns about Muslim refugees. Polls show most Muslim countries are overwhelmingly anti-Semitic. 
One survey found that almost 80 percent of Syrians support the Palestinian terror group Hamas. Polls show most Americans overwhelmingly oppose accepting Syrian refugees, and over 30 states have refused to accept them. America is not only a land of immigrants, it is the most charitable nation on earth. But when it comes to allowing in some Muslim refugees, Americans may be forced to choose between charity and safety.